<laughs> oh. <clears throat> okay. If you watch this video, you've probably purchased a Note 10 and you're looking for things that will help you get the most out of your new device. What I'm about to share with you today is not all Note 10 or Note 10 Plus specific and can be used by those of you who are rocking a different Samsung device as long as you're running the latest One UI software and you have similar hardware specs. So let's jump to my favorite Note 10 tips and tricks that I use on a daily basis. First things first, pin an app. This is a useful tip for parents, for example. When you open an app like a toddler's game, pull up the app drawer and press on the app icon to open an additional menu. From it, select the app and once you do that, you can no longer leave the app unless you press the recents and back button at the same time. There's even an option to enable passcode before unpinning. This option needs to be enabled from the settings of the phone under other security settings. Number two. Lock home screen layout. Moving on with the parenting topics, if you have a kid like me and you tend to give your smartphone to it as a way of having 15 minutes quiet time, then it might be smart to restrict the phone access and preserve your settings the best you can. One thing you should do is lock your home screen layout so that no icons can be moved around or app shortcuts can be deleted. This is very simple to achieve. All you have to do is hold your finger on an empty space on the desktop and select home screen settings. From there, enable lock home screen layout. Number three, convert written notes to text. What's the point of having a note device without using the S Pen and taking actual notes, correct? You might be a doctor or someone who has terrible handwriting and you sometimes get lost in your own scribbles. This is a tip for you. Turn your handwriting notes into actual text by following these simple steps and help others understand your cryptic notes. When you pull up a handwritten note, hold your finger on it until a selection box shows up. Adjust the selection box size accordingly and you can see how the phone understands your handwriting. Finally, press convert and you're good to go. Number four, use split screen app shortcuts. Unlike the iPhones of today, the Note is one of the Android devices that supports split screen or using two apps at the same time. This is one of my favorite features because I am a YouTube monster and I love watching other tech-related content like my friend Roger from Life of Tech while putting down notes on how I can beat him and surpass his subscription count. Just kidding Roger, I love you. Slide out your edge drawer and click on the plus as if you are about to create a new drawer shortcut. From there, choose create app pair and select the two apps that you're planning to use. Click done and you're good to go. Number five, Samsung DeX to your Mac or PC. Most recent Samsung devices, including the Note 10, support the DeX or desktop experience. With the latest version of DeX and the Note 10, you can connect your Note to a monitor and go full screen with just your phone or download the DeX software for Mac and PC and take your ecosystem to the next level. With DeX, you're able to easily drag and drop files between your computer and the phone, continue working on the phone but on a way bigger screen and charge your device at the same time. Let me know in the comment section below if you'd like me to do a separate DeX video that goes into details about this functionality. Number six, use lift to wake. Something that all iPhone users love, one less action. All recent iPhones wake as soon as you lift them up, but by default this feature is turned off on the Note. The lift to wake saves you time and button pressing action and it's absolutely awesome to use. To enable it, you just have to go to the settings, search or navigate to motions and gestures and enable lift to wake. Number 7. Reprogram side key to open any app. If you're not a Bixby user, why not turn the side key into something productive like opening a phone application? This action requires double tapping to work and the application shortcut can be selected via settings, advanced features and side key. Number 8. Hide sensitive apps. The Note is feature packed when it comes to software and one thing that can help you at work or at home, especially if you are a parent, is the option to hide sensitive apps. The hide option does not work if you search for the app, but at least it's not visible on the home screen or the app drawer. 
To hide an app, hold your finger on an empty space on your desktop and select home screen settings. Scroll down to hide apps and choose the apps that you'd like to disappear. Number nine, send scheduled messages. Let's just say that your father-in-law has a birthday two days from now and you really don't feel like calling him directly. In order not to look like an ass and forget about it, simply schedule a happy birthday message by drafting it in the messaging app and clicking on the additional menu button. From there, select schedule message and pick the time and day. Number 10, Smart State. The Note 10 has facial recognition, which is not very secure, but its foundation can help you keep the screen active as long as you're looking at it. This is a neat feature for when you're reading articles or other materials and you don't want your screen to dim and interrupt your flow. This feature can be simply enabled by going to settings and navigating to motions and gestures. If you have any questions or suggestions for upcoming tips and tricks, let me know in the comment section below. If you didn't like this video, feel free to dislike it. But if you enjoyed it, consider subscribing and becoming part of the family. As always, it's been an absolute pleasure. This is E, over and out.